Kia ora everyone, it's me, Sha, and I am playing a game I bought off Steam called Love Sam. So it's meant to be um, sort of a story driven horror game. So let's see. Getting out of bed. What's this? Ah, oh, light switch. Yeah. Alright. Got any food? Any breakfast? Right. Nothing. Little pots in the cupboard. Uh, close there. We don't want to refrigerate the whole house. Uh. It's a knife. Okay, my house is making scary noises, so I'm a, I'm a little bit scared. Then my cat's making noise. Oh, close it. Jesus. I don't want them to see that mess. Oh. A blankie or something. Cool. It's locked. Alright. Bathroom. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see. Can I? Oh, good. Can't go to Lou. Oh, I'm a vampire. There's nothing in here. Okay. Mm. <gasps> Shit. Okay, I'm jumpy, all right. Ooh, ooh. Okay. My dirty little secrets. Read on to move on. Okay. Ah, all right. The last human on earth was sitting alone in a room. There came a knock on, knock on the door. I've never cared for keeping a diary. But now seems to be a good time to start keeping one. Why? Because after all these years, I just can't forget about what used to be the light of my life. I know, over dramatic much? Knowing Brian Colmer as much as I did is bound to leave that big chunk of residue. Let's just say this diary is what's left of our relationship. Three years? No. Three years have passed and the world around me is still the same. Well, except for me, I look like a mummified corpse. <laughs> what would B say if he saw me again? B left Rosen Peak the moment he graduated high school to go to a fancy college of his dreams. Since then, I could only rely on my memories of him to keep on going. I wonder if it was same for him too. When you love someone, his whole existence just gets etched into your brain. So no matter how much B changes, I will always know it's him. But will B do the same for me? I know B liked me a lot too, but he was not the most likely person to remember stuff. Considering how long three years felt for me, it's possible he did forget about me, or am I giving him too little credit? So here comes the big question. Will he remember me? Ask the Ouija board. Okay. Mm. Will he remember me? Oh. Uh, yes. Yes, he will. Okay. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's B we're talking about. We didn't have the most perfect relationship, but he won't just dump his memory of me down the toilet or something. He's too much of a nice guy for that. And don't forget cute. I just hope our time together was meaningful enough to him. Enough to make him cherish even the darkest ones. Speaking of cherishable memories, I wonder what happened to Joe's diner. Used to be my favorite place. Naturally because it was B's favourite place to begin with. 
if there were two things that were too good for Rose and Peak, it would be Brian and Joe's Diner. Home of the best pancakes in the pancakes in the world. Brian Colmer. Burger pancakes. Yay, gets five stars. Things were so much easier back then. B could just go, hey, and I would be like, hey. Nothing but hanging out after that with some occasional visit to Colton Hill. We had such a good thing going. Will he remember... Uh, will he say hey to me again? Will he? Uh, okay. Um, answer it. Hello? Was that you, Brian? Heavy breather. Hmm. Is there someone in my cupboard? <gasps> Scary. All right, let's carry on then. Um, did time already ruin our moments? I could call him a thousand times and uh, and more just to hear him say hello. I enjoy just feeling his presence on the other side. Hey, hey, hi. I even enjoyed imagining him eagerly waiting to hear something other than my breath. Oh, that's creepy. Okay. I wish I could sneak into people's minds. Um, huh? Hmm. That is a debut outfit. I admire your confidence, Sam. And with that, my whole high school years were probably over. First day of new school and the new girl in town got classified as undesirable by what seems to be the queen of Wayright Academy. I spent last night telling myself, confidence, Sam, confidence. But looks like I should have spent that time picking better clothes. I try not to care too much about blending in, but these kids already look at me like I'm candy handed out by strangers. The package seems fine, but you know, there's something fishy in there. Judging from their whispers, I could figure out they didn't know Wayright even accepted transfers. It's been less than 24 hours since I moved to Rosen Peak, and I already enjoy sitting alone in my dorm room more than attempt socializing with people who call me a city girl. Well, screw you too, hillbillies. <laughs> Besides, I decided not to force myself into making friends after how my old friends decided to turn on me. I just hope these guys leave me alone at least. Keeping a diary sure can help things keep things together in all the chaos. I haven't kept a diary since kindergarten, but this seems like a good time to restart. Kudos to mum for giving me the advice. Oh shoot, almost forgot calling her. Write you later diary, my only true friend. Love, Sam. Now entering Rosen Peak. Ah, goes up there. Okay. Um, door still shut. Bathroom door still shut. Okay. Let's keep on reading. I wish I could sneak into people's minds, look beyond their eyes just by staring. If I had that power, I would never stop looking through B's window. Hmm. Will B remember the moment he came into my life? For me, it is as clear as the moment he left. So clear that the downfall of our relationship still cuts deep into my heart. I'm a stranger, friend, special someone, and then broken heart. 
That's the way it always goes. Yeah, life in Rosen Peak was a jar filled with bittersweet. What the heck did you? What did that say? I didn't see it. I just saw it flicker. Hmm. Filled with bittersweet candies. Not exactly tasteful, but I learned to enjoy it. Nevertheless, it's where my heart lies. Wrote a poem in B's memory. He used to struggle with Miss Leslie's uh, poet, poetry practices, even if he didn't have to try that hard. Miss Leslie always told us, poetry is not about using fancy words. Let your feelings do all the work. Well, this is how I feel. I stand at his doorstep, heart filled with desire. He rushes down the stairs, heart red like fire. But before his spirit can soar, first he must answer the door. <laughs> really? Can't turn around. Was there somebody at the door? <laughs> no. I can't. I have to go out to the door. Was that hard always there? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this was good. Holy shit, I can't see anything. Can you hear anything? I can't see anything. Okay. He's going to be behind me, isn't he? Rah! No. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's another page there. Okay, there's nothing out there. All right. Mm. Read the page. Stacy's a classic. FYI, she's the one who talked crap about my favorite vintage shirt. It's like she jumped straight out of a cheesy teen drama. Blonde, hot, always talking, and a cheerleader. It, uh, she even has a beefy jock for a boyfriend. I didn't want to start talking shit about someone already, but how could I resist? Every time I get in Stacy's view, triggered an obvious backbite. I'm seriously starting to think she's under a curse that kills her if she stops talking about someone else. I'm Stacy. I'm pretty. Sadly, coping with her bitchiness wasn't the hardest part of the day. Mum called again. As far as she knows, it's just rainbows and butterflies here in Rosen Peak. I can still remember the complicated face she made when I told her that my application was accepted by Wayright. None of us were expecting them to approve a transfer request of a 11th grader. Even if she told me she understands my need to move out of the city, I really feel guilty for leaving her alone. You already used up your last runaway chance, Sam. Get yourself together. If not for you, for Mum. Hey. Okay. Hey. Hey. Other Wainwright kids were so predictable. Their doors were already open even before I put my hand on the knob. But B's door was uh, closed shut and so beautifully painted. Everyone liked him but couldn't get him to open up. I knew there was something more be behind that pretty paint. Something behind his bright smile. But on the other hand... Being able to hang out with him was a good enough blessing for me. Enough to make me want to never leave his side. Never, ever. Um. Mm-hmm. He's a man. <laughs> the man. Oh. Jesus. He's behind me, see? <laughs> 